today. AMD's new CPU gets tested. Intel's new monster CPUs get destroyed by AMD. Ryzen 7000 X3D parts get official performance leaked. And AMD's RX 7800, 7700, and 7600 are cheap. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, performance numbers leak on AMD's next-gen flagship mobile CPU, the Ryzen 9 7945HX, AMD's monster 16-core 32-thread mobile part. As you can see, we have a benchmark from Geekbench on the new Raphael CPU, and it scored 2127 in single-core and 19403 in multi-core. And when we compare that to Intel's new 13980HX, it wins in single-core yet loses in multi-core. But really, they're both very close. With that said, some other benchmarks were apparently found that put the Ryzen 9 part a bit lower than Intel's in both single and multi-core. But once again, not by too much. Really, while both CPUs are 55 watt plus, I think it'll ultimately boil down to how much performance they get at what wattage. If AMD's can win, then they'll likely be the better buy. Then of course, there's price. Basically, AMD's new part does look promising. Time, as always, will tell. And when you're ready to learn how to actually make CPUs and GPUs, there's no better place to start than with this video's sponsor. Brilliant! And there's no better time because they're now offering their best deal ever. Instead of their usual 7-day trial, you can try out Brilliant for a full 30 days for free when you visit Brilliant.org slash GamerMelt. If you haven't heard about Brilliant yet, it's the learning platform that was made to teach the STEM field, and that means computer science. But the best part is really how they teach you. No more reading books or any of that. Instead, you learn by actually doing it yourself. And their classes are awesome, from beginner stuff to more advanced classes like neural networks, where you learn how AI works. And they teach you with fun, interactive puzzles. But don't just believe me. Try out Brilliant right now for free for 30 days. I don't know how long this will last, so visit brilliant.org slash gamermeld today. Next up for today, we finally have the first series of benchmarks on Intel's new high-end desktop processors, including their nearly $6,000 56-core CPU. The story comes from new benchmarks done by Puget Systems, where they compare Intel's new CPUs to AMD's newest Ryzen Threadripper Pro 5000 models. So let's get right to it. As I go through these, you'll notice that AMD's Threadripper Pro models win in literally every benchmark other than the single-core Cinebench. And I mean every benchmark. V-Ray, Blender, you name it. But get this, it gets even worse for Intel. When we look at the power draw, we can see that AMD's 64-core part not only takes less power than Intel's highest-end 56-core part, but it literally pulls less power than Intel's 28-core part. I mean, this is just sad. Remember that Threadripper 5000 are AMD's newest parts, but they're only based on Zen 3, not their newest Zen 4 architecture. While Intel's Sapphire Rapids is definitely newer. With that said, Intel's parts are cheaper, but not by much. At the end of the day, this doesn't bode well for Intel at all. Puget Systems does call this a preview because it's a very early look at the new processors, and according to them, they were getting BIOS updates all the way up to the release, so it may get better. Plus, overclocking looks good as Intel's new 56-core part just set a world record, though that was of course with liquid nitrogen, and it probably pulled more wattage than a small city. Basically, I doubt it can get a huge boost in performance with way less power draw in time, especially since these CPUs are just weak away. Next up, official performance slides from AMD on their upcoming Ryzen 7000 X3D parts have been leaked. As you can see, it has performance numbers in a ton of games for AMD's upcoming Ryzen 9 7950 X3D part. Remember that this is AMD's highest end 16 core 32 thread CPU that includes 3D vCache. Now back to the slide, it compares AMD's highest end 7950 X3D to Intel's 13900K CPU. And when we go through it, we can see that AMD lists a ton of games here, with the X3D part beating it in most, though losing in some, but still getting as high as 20 7% faster performance, so definitely a massive jump over their regular 7950X CPU. Not only that, but the site HD Technologia apparently leaked some performance metrics from AMD's reviewer's guide. These are basically reference points for reviewers to look at to make sure they're getting at least near what AMD is seeing, meaning if something is far off, you likely have an issue. Think of it as a sanity check. 
Either way, we can see that they compared to Intel's 13,900K yet again. But here, we're actually given an overall performance difference. And as you can see, the 7950X3D gets a 6% increase over the 13,900K. And of course, that is a bit disappointing given the 13,900K can overclock a bit and get more. Plus, the 13,900KS is closer to the price of AMD's 7950X3D. Then again, if the 7800X3D can do anything new Near this, it could end up being the best gaming CPU out there. Ultimately though, it likely depends on what games you play as to which CPU you're most interested in. And lastly for today, we have some big news on AMD's upcoming mid-range RX 7000 GPUs. As you know, AMD has been pretty quiet about any new GPUs since their 7900 series launch. Well, according to a new report from the Chinese news site MyDrivers, AMD recently made a statement on their upcoming parts, and in it, they state that their mid-range GPUs may be delayed. According to the report, they're likely planning to release them for China's 618 event, which is actually in June, and is sort of like the US's Black Friday sales event. Now, that obviously sucks, but I do have good news. According to another report from my drivers, AMD is allegedly planning to ship out their 7800, 7700, and 7600 series next. And according to them, those CPUs will be more cost effective than Nvidia's competing models, meaning AMD could be quite a bit cheaper than Nvidia's mid range offerings. In fact, we may finally start seeing GPUs that are priced much more reasonably. And of course, this comes shortly after the news that GPU shipments are down in China by a whopping 42%. So both AMD and Nvidia are clearly feeling the pain of diminished sales in the PC market. Let's just hope that means cheaper GPUs for everyone. Fingers crossed. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for next-gen mid-range GPUs? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to check out Brilliant's great new free trial at brilliant.org slash And as always, have a great day!